So Scorpio, let's see what's coming your way. And we do have the sun. This is Leo energy, but this is about um, shine and love and truth and happiness and love. Um, and we also have the devil, Capricorn energy. Um, it might be about toxic love, right? When we have happiness, we have happiness and it looks good and it's encouraging. And when we have toxic, and it can be addictions, can be anything, right? The devil is um, jealousy, um, addictions, codependency, toxic love, um, toxic energies between us. And when it's up, it's up. When it's down, it's down, right? And here comes... Um, um, the explanation, right? Five of Swords, win or lose, taking advantage, fight, argument. So when we shine, we shine. When we fight, we fight, right? That is no uh, middle ground there, right? When it's love, it's like the, the sweetest um, type of love. And when we fight, it's like I don't want to see you for the rest of my life. And then we share the love and we reconcile. Three of Cups with the Five of Swords. I feel this is a very, I mean, the message is quite clear. I'm picking up the energy of a very um, in and out kind of couple. And probably opening up is a challenge. Communication, uh, because Five of Swords is also at the end of the day, uh, it is the way we communicate and the way we, um, you know, pass messages. And the Four of Pentacles is about being guarded and opening up and move on. So yeah, we have arguments, we move on, we reconcile and we have love again. Okay, so let's see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time. And I'm saying the third week of November, but you know how it goes. And we have moving on, emotional detachment, rest and reconsideration. Cups and wands, I love this. Cups are your energy, um, Scorpio. And I feel like you are moving on over here. But then if you are dealing with a fire sign, we have this energy of somebody being hurt and wanting to be victorious at any cost. So... So let's see what's going on. Can also be you if you have fire in your chart, right? We are kind of torn between the cups, the love, the emotions, and the intuition, and the action. Let me do something about it. I had enough, you know, I am just done. So let's see what's going on. So past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. Let's have the current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. And of course, you only take what resonates and you you take the side you you connect with the most. That's um, actually the key. And the possible outcome for November, for you, the person you are dealing with. And like I was saying, you know, um, Tarot knows no timelines. We don't have the Five of Swords again. Uh, pretty sure there was a fight, there was a conflict, pretty sure we said something we uh, didn't really mean 100%, right? Pretty sure, um, you know, there were disagreements and somebody had to win. And I feel like at any cost, right? Uh, because we have somebody here very guarded and we have somebody emotionally detaching. So, you know, when we say something and in, in, the, in, in the fire of the action, right, it doesn't, it, 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 it's no longer important what's going to happen. But then we sit down and say, hmm, you know, I, it, it feels like this. Um, so Virgo, why do I say Virgo? You might be dealing with a Virgo. Um, Scorpio, this is, um, yeah, it's interesting, right? Um, we do have the commitment card and the Ace of Cups. So nothing but love and commitment you had for this person, um, Scorpio. I mean, it's so that we know the Hierophant. Of course, you might have been married to this person, but the, or not. It doesn't have to be. But definitely that type of traditional commitment where when we say we are committed, we are committed uh, till the end of times, right? Um, we don't look, um, you know, in other places and love a bond. So I kind of feel that um, not only you were committed to this person, but the love was just amazing. Ace of Cups is the energy of a renewed love, is the energy of something that's um, new and fresh. It has a sense of playfulness. It has a sense of developing feelings, emotions, and, you know, um, growing stronger in love and commitment as, as, we, as we go and as we move on. Now, this person of yours, um, Scorpio, they do have the Five of Pentacles in the past and the Six of Swords. Um, 
definitely somebody having probably um, you know feeling alone it's a very depressive energy they maybe in the past they were going through um, you know a, a challenging situation and absolutely in need for peace of mind you know six of swords is the energy of somebody really staying away from tormented waters high energy something where they need to explain they need to say they need to act they need to do something and probably they enjoyed their time alone five of pentacles is also an energy where somebody just needs that time away from any troubles um high energies and pushing them around uh, because they were in a process of healing somebody here uh, was and maybe that's what they brought to the table, uh, um, you know, an unhealed soul, an unhealed body, um, maybe a connection from the past that they had on their side. And, um, you know, it came with a lot of struggles and that's what they brought. Mutual energies between the two of you. We do have the temperance and balance and we do have the emperor. Such studies, energy, Aries energy. Maybe one of those energies stood between you and your person. Maybe they are such studies, Aries. But we have two completely different energies uh, between the two of you. And I kind of feel just by the energy of it that you were coming from two different places. One from a place of power, strength and, and uh, being very guarded and extremely, um, you know, not showing and, and showing that they are strong and they can manage. While the other person was coming from a place of compromise. Right? We need to make things work. We need, it has to work. It has to, let's find a solution. Um, you know, it's about reconciliation and staying at peace. It's about being patient to the other person. While somebody here was very guarded and hiding a lot of emotions and, and showing actually a very strong side of them. Um, whoever that was, one was strong in love. The other one was um, actually very... Um, vulnerable this is a very vulnerable place and they were aware six of swords is the energy of let me stay away because right now i am um, feeling lonely i'm feeling depressed i'm not in control and i don't want to see people that's their energy um so what are we right now scorpio of course we love this person gemini energy and we want to give back uh, we want to take care of them we are kind with the Six of Pentacles, we are in quest for balance. And yes, we need to make choices in love. When it comes to this love with this person, we absolutely have choices to make. And um, and I, I feel the overall energy is all yours. And you're going to be successful in finding a solution. Because look here. We have either I rest and reconsider, I, either I move on. Right? That's your overall energy right now. And I feel that we are at crossroads and... The universe is saying, if you believe, you succeed. Okay? If you believe in this connection, if you believe in this person, if you believe in the work, the capacity to change, the introspection that it takes, the work, you can do it. But right now we are at, you know, giving and receiving. We give love, we want to receive love. It's just a uh, human, right? And, um, and we want this. And it makes sense. And we are loving at this point And... Uh, but our choices are choices. The lovers is also um, head over heart decisions. And I feel that, you know, you are there. It's like decision time. Now, this person of yours, at this time, they are hurt. They might be physically hurt. They might have, you know, three of swords again is the energy of, de of being depressed. Going through physical pain. Go going through, um, you know, um, a situation of some sort that is very disturbing to them can be with you, can be something that's personal, but they also have the fall. They want to take a leap of faith. And it's interesting, um, Scorpio, because their energy is balanced between, it's actually, I feel alone and depressed, but I know it and I want to heal from it. I am so in pain, I know about it, and I know that I need to start something new. I need to take a leap of faith, I need to come out of it, right? I need to snap out. That's by excellence in tarot, the energy of snapping out of something that's painful. Sadness, isolation, feeling alone. Again, they might be going through some um, deep depression. They know about, they are very conscious about, you know, and probably the more they go deep, the, the more you, you have emotions for them and you want to save them. Six of Pentacles is the energy of kindness, right? It's the energy of um, 
of wanting to to reconnect with them and and pulling them out of out, out of whatever depression is going on at this time uh but mutual energies between the two of you confusion illusion daydreaming and decisions and probably silent treatment or uh, going within somebody is not opening up and i believe it's this person they, uh, we have the uh, the hermit at the core of the reading. So I kind of like it because it speaks of wisdom and, and soul journey. But I feel, in particularly in this reading, uh, that this is about silence. This, this is about not talking. This is about needing space to process pain, process new beginnings, process trust. Either between the two of you or trust in the future, them uh, moving on. Um, not in a sense of away from you, but somebody here is very aware on this side, like your person, but can be you, Scorpio. Very aware that if it continues like this, it's going to be like the rock bottom hitting the wall, right? So we have energies of healing has to begin and trust and future and taking a leap of faith and starting over. So they know it. Energies coming your way or the outcome of this, a lot of love. Two of Cups and the lovers again, right? Gemini energy. But this is, I mean, this is, this is love. So that is love in this connection and love is coming your way. Um, Scorpio, I do believe that they love you through the whatever struggling they have. You know, they have um, pure emotions for you. Mutual and well, why do I say mutual? Energy is coming their way. They do have the strength and the four of cups. So they want to stay in control. Somebody here might look like not paying attention, but it is for a greater good. And it is to stay in control. Somebody here is taming themselves, staying on their best behavior. You know, it's again the energy of I know I'm struggling and I have to stay in control for my own sake. So again, they might show up with the Four of Cups energy, not paying attention, not seeing the big picture, not looking at the things you look at, um, you know, not seeing the important things you, uh, the important things for you, but actually it is a mechanism for them to stay in control. The challenges between the two of you open up helpless and hopeless. It is... I mean, they are simply not in that place of opening up. Probably in November, they are still struggling with taking control of their depression, anxiety, a sense of feeling alone, sadness and isolation, helpless and hopeless. Well, that is big time depression there. Um, and four of pentacles. They are guarded. They are not sharing. They are not opening up, but they are uh, very determined to stay in control. And um, Scorpio, there is no doubt they have emotions for you, deep emotions, lovers and the two of cups is body, mind and soul connection, a soulmate connection is meant to be. Um, so again, I know you'll find a way. If you believe in this, you will succeed. Scorpio, I believe at the end of the day, it's interesting how I feel that this, um, you know, kind of like the universe saying they have problems of their own. But if you believe in this connection, you can succeed. But let's ask for some guidance, right? Before we jump to conclusions here. Let's see what exactly we need to know and do. And I do count on you, um, Scorpio, to use your better judgment. You know your situation in detail. So I do hope you're going to make the right decision. So we do have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So yes, that is love in this connection. That is no doubt. Yes, it is safe for you to love them. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. We do have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. Um, we do have new love bottom of the deck a new person has stirred your romantic feelings honestly i new love and love yourself first maybe it's a message here for somebody i don't feel you are pushed away from this person on the contrary it is safe for you to love you have to explore your feelings you have to open up calling in your soulmate is manifestation affirmations and and prayers and opening up and you do have new love and love yourself first maybe in this your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Maybe what we need to learn through this experience, Scorpio, is to love yourself 
uh, more, I would say. I know you love this person. I mean, this reading is like, um, you know, so, um, you know, explicit about the, uh, the, uh, the feelings we have for this person. But then what we need to learn is to love yourself in the process. Let's see what else. We have boundaries. So somebody here needs to work on some boundaries. Yes to love. Yes to expressing feelings and, and sharing. But we also need to have some boundaries. Get to know each other. Learn to meet another's needs for love. So it is safe for you to love. But it is also a journey of learning. Right? How do they love? What do they expect from this? So, um... We do have this, calling in your soulmate and the distorted feminine. Maybe that is something we need to work on um, at this time, Scorpio. Maybe that is something that's tormenting you. Um, maybe in terms of manifestation, visualization, that is something that we need to bring to a higher vibration. That's a message in, in it. And yes, we have soulmates. Yes to soulmates and yes to self-love, right? We already know that this is a soulmate love. And we do have miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. The universe way to saying that whatever, whatever is happening right now, whatever situation you are in, that is a blessing in it. And it serves a purpose. Okay. Now let's look into the energies we want to put back into the flow. We do have friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. We do have romantic feelings, boundaries, and friendship. Maybe that is something about their friendships that we don't like and we need to put boundaries. Maybe it's about us. Maybe it's about bringing love and uh, friendship in this connection. However, this resonates with you. And we do have surrender obsessive thinking. So if you're obsessing about a person or a situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will bring you clarity or even solve the problem. Um, I know. You know, it comes with getting to know each other and obsessive thinking. Maybe, um, Scorpio, we are, you know, sometimes it, um, it happens and it's no judgment. It's, we are just humans and uh, nobody is perfect. And we are all on a journey, right? Um, but sometimes, you know, we are afraid to ask, we are afraid to communicate, we are afraid to share what is in our mind because it might sound crazy, it might sound jealous, it might sound God knows what, right? So we move into obsessive thinking because we don't have that honest conversation. And we have get to know each other and surrender obsessive thinking. So in, instead of right creating scenarios in our head, we are truly guided in this reading to, you know, um, ask the questions and get to know the person and your lovers, your lover, your soulmate. We do have acceptance. I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. Right? Perfect. What else? We have patience. Of course we do. So you are able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm. And bottom of the deck, surrender addictions. Whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. So it can be maybe both of you, you have addictions, but like, um, you know, a different type of, um, and we need to work on it because it, it is the source of obsessive thinking, distort, distortion, boundaries, and maybe friendships that are not um, appropriate. Um, Scorpio, let's ask for some completely different type of guidance. It's not about love. Uh, one is um, career oriented, one is some general guidance. So whatever comes uh, for you, we're gonna take it. But this is, you know, advice only for you. Oh, we have two, good. So we do have family. Loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose. We do have environmentalist. You're an earth angel who was born angel who was born to protect, nurture, and teach about nature and the animals. So in your life purpose you do have family and environment, right? This is what you are meant to do. We do have creative expression. 
your soul longs to express itself creatively and bottom of the deck child so family creative expression environment and now child you care deeply about children and they uh, readily respond to your love all children including your own inner child require love affection and attention we can clear and open your heart and, ske and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you. And it's interesting, Scorpio, you do have family and you, you do have children, right? So you care deeply and the universe is saying open also your schedule for kids, your kids, your inner child. So I feel that somebody is really guided here to, yes, love with a soulmate, but also family is important and creative expression are also important on your path at this time um so if you have like a project a creative project in mind it's kind of the universe way you know um to show a, um you know a sign by saying now it's the time and it if it involves kids and family it's even better so hey this is all that i have for you guys you know i love you i wish you nothing but the best i want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time love you take care